guys it's me i'm officially back i'm so excited um thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel once again i appreciate all my subscribers um i'm super excited because they are increasing and i've been noticing you guys are commenting more i've been getting a lot of views my first video has over 600 views so i'm super happy about that like i mean i don't know if that's a lot especially since i'm just starting off but to me it feels like incredible and amazing and i'm just i appreciate you all so much for watching my videos but um as I promised in my last one this is going to be a haul and another update I have for you all is that I invested in a camera lens um, my friend Hunter actually gave me the camera as a gift and I got the Canon Rebel T3i which is the quality is so much better than my laptop camera so um I'm excited that I'll be able to upload in HD and give better quality videos and I'm really getting into this whole like YouTube thing I've written down so many ideas that I have that I want to bring to you guys so I'm just gonna get started in my haul um the first thing that I purchased was this dress and it was 24 2480 you can kind of see the print on there and I just thought that this was like a really pretty color. I really love dresses because they're so like basic and so easy to style. And I, normally I would go for a louder print, but I just love this. I felt like it was still pretty colors without like being too basic. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I love dresses. And so I thought it was just a nice fall time dress. So I got that. And next I bought these Harlem pants. And you can just kind of see they're just like a gray and black. And I had watched a new channel, of course. I'm always watching YouTuber YouTubers. Um, it was Nature B, and she showed some Harlem pants that she got. But I think the ones that she got were like a tribal print, sort of, and they were brown. So um, that just inspired me to kind of get those pants because I really loved like how comfortable they are. I love Harlem pants because a lot of days, believe it or not, I do like dressing up, but I have those lazy days where I'm like, oh, I just. I want to keep my sweatpants on. So these kind of are the next upgrade from sweatpants. They look a little more dressed up. So definitely invest in those. Just throw in some pants, some Harlem pants, and a plain black tee or white tee, and you're good to go. The next thing that I purchased was this top. And it's got leather at the bottom, like um, a peplum top, and then it's got this lace. And this is actually like a little vampy a little dark for me I normally don't buy like lace and leather but I just have been feeling so so brave and so bold and trying new things and so you know what I was like you know what Halloween is coming up it's October I'm gonna go for it um I don't know where I'm gonna wear this but I plan on doing a lookbook soon and figuring it out and styling it so we're gonna see where I wear this leather and lace but um yeah anyway this next of uh, this top was my bad it was $22.80 as well this is a dress that I also purchased and once again, I love the the print on this. Um, this one was fourteen eighty, and I actually found it on the sale section, so I bought it for ten bucks. And what I really loved about this was you can't really see as well as I can, but it has these cutouts in the sleeve and also on the back. And I just thought it was very nice detailing and it's like a really stretchy, comfortable dress. Something easy to throw on with some leggings. I'm not a big fan of wearing leggings as pants. So um, I'll probably be wearing those with jeans. Or It is a dress, but it's kind of short to, to wear to class. So um, I don't know. I'm going to figure out exactly how I want to style that as well. But I just thought it was really cute. Love the orange and the tan. Also, I got this sweatshirt. And it, I actually don't know what it says. Raymond's Tommy, Johnny, Joey? Whoop! <laughs> it really does say that. Tommy, Johnny, Joey. I know, I didn't read it when I purchased it, but I'm such a huge fan of their sweatshirts. They actually have a Transformers one that's blue, or it's Avengers that I want really bad. I just, I love these. I feel like they're so comfy. For fall time, just throw that on with some jeans or throw that on with a skirt and you're warm because I don't know about you all, but in my classes that I have this semester, in the classrooms, it's freezing. Freezing. So, just throw that on to class. And the next to last, well, scratch that. The next thing that I got was this skirt, and it's it's so wrinkled. 
I just pulled this stuff out of the bag to film, so ah, it looks it doesn't look cute in the video, but it's just a skirt. And it's just like a basic um, not really like a pencil skirt, but like a little more informal. And I love it. Um, I saw it on the mannequin, so I was like, ooh, yeah, I want that. So I got it. Um, the next thing that I got, and believe it or not, I did not own a pair of these, which is crazy, but everyone has some but me. And they're just plain black leggings. Um, like I just said a little while ago, I'm not a big fan of wearing leggings as pants. Um, I just feel like, I still feel like I just have tights on, even though they're a thicker material. I personally, like, can't do it. So, um, what I plan on doing is wearing, like, oversized sweaters or oversized t-shirts that, like, cover my butt. And then put those underneath it as kind of a type of tights. Just because, I don't know, I just, I can't do it. I can't do the tights as pants thing. I feel like it's breaking the rules. So, um... If you do see me with tights on, I probably have a sweater or a cardigan or something that like covers or is longer, so you can't really like see anything. But um, next up forever were these pants, <laughs> and I love them. They're so colorful and rose print and ah, neon, and I don't. They, they have these out for fall, and even though the colors don't really scream fall, I figured like just with a black tee to kind of tone it down a little bit, it won't be too much going on, but I tried to stick to just neutral colors, but when I saw these pants, I had to have them. I'm not, I'm beginning to kind of shy away from skinny jeans. I miss wearing just bootcut jeans. Um, I, I don't know if that's just me or if I'm not alone, but um, I had to splurge on those. They were only 22, but yeah. And the last thing that I bought from Forever, I just love that they're bright. Like, every time I go in Forever 21, I just walk out feeling like a million bucks. Just because I love the store that much. But anyway, um, the last purchase that I had was this jacket. And you can kind of see it's like this quilted leather thing going on. I love, love, love it. This jacket was only $18, and you can't really, like, tell, but it's that Coco Chanel um, quilted pattern, and that's one thing that I love about it. It's so soft. It was only $18 for this jacket, and it just reminded me of, like, Grease Lightning. Well, Grease, not Grease Lightning. Um, and I feel so, just so cool when I put it on. Does this make, it look, makes me look more edgy, like, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> But yeah, um, that's why I got this jacket because I just love, love, love it. And I have been wanting a black jacket for a minute. And so I figured I would buy one. And I bought that jacket. So that concludes my Forever 21 haul. I definitely think that Forever 21 needs to have like 10% like discount for students or a cash back card or some a loyalty card, I think they call them. Because I don't know if I'm alone, but I spend entirely too much money at that store and I need to start getting something back. So um, that really concludes my fall haul. I will have a new video up within this week because I missed the September favorites tag so I will be doing that one next. And once again thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into my video and I will see you all later.